Hey guys, Chris here. When dinosaurs rule the earth, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're old to the channel, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the indie sci-fi thriller, A New World Order. Back in 2019, this movie was shown at various film festivals across the globe under the title, A Living Dog, where it picked up awards such as Best Cinematography, Best Sci-Fi Feature Thriller, and Best Sci-Fi Slash Fantasy Film. The movie was shot on location in Finland and produced by German director Daniel Rabolt. The producers of the film are said to have been huge fans of the 1980s Tripod series by the BBC and the actual theme tune to the series is hidden in a distress call in the movie. Despite the familiar looking artwork on the poster for the movie, this film is not an adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. A New World Order is set in a dystopian future where man battles against his own creations. The film features very little spoken dialogue and could be described as A Quiet Place meets War of the Worlds slash The Terminator. So I managed to pick up a copy of the film on Amazon UK for £7.99. The movie is also available for rental and digital purchase on Amazon and also on Apple TV. So the film centres around two main protagonists, Thomas and Lilia. Thomas is a deserter who tries to hide away from the war. He doesn't want to be involved in the violence, he just wants to hunker down and get high on some blue crystal substance. Later on, while he's checking the perimeter of his hideaway, Lilia whacks him on the head and knocks him clean out. When he wakes up, his mouth and his hands are gaffer taped up. Lilia is the sole survivor of a resistance group that wants to fight the machines, which sort of fucks up Thomas's plans of laying low and getting high. Like I said earlier, there's no talking in the movie and there's also no subtitles. The pair communicate by simple signing and writing it down. They cannot speak, or the machines will sniff them out and kill them, though they do seem to be able to make as much other noise as they want, as long as they don't speak. Speak, and you're dead. The machines consist of a range of tripods and different flying machines. They all have some sort of laser heat ray to blow shit up. The tripods are very reminiscent of the 1980s BBC series of tripods when they're in motion. The movie is filmed freehand and it looks like it was filmed on a camcorder. The effects are very good, but most action scenes take place in dream sequences or flashbacks. A New World Order is a pretty slow burn movie and lacks atmosphere at times but I felt like the 94 minute runtime was manageable. The end scene was mind blowing and reminded me of the end of Close Encounters with all the different ships coming to the mountain. I enjoy watching the film and will rate it six out of 10. Kudos to the creators for making this film as good as it was on such a small budget. This is certainly not Hollywood blockbuster stuff, but I recommend any fan of sci-fi's such as The War of the Worlds or the Terminator franchise, then you should give it a go. You may be surprised. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for listening to me drone on for the last four and a half minutes. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving us a subscribe. And also, if you enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm Chris. This is When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth. Take care.